Hello, welcome to The Truce. As the Australia immigration crisis continues, with thousands of people being kept in what it would be easy to describe as concentration camps, PM of Australia, Tony Abbott, grapples with some complex emotional issues. Do you feel any guilt? None whatsoever, Neil. The main story is that the Human Rights Commission have called for all children to be released from detention centres on Nauru. Don't you sometimes wonder if something's gone fundamentally wrong with the planet when you read the sentence, called for all children to be released from detention centres. In recent years, thousands of child asylum seekers have arrived in Australia by boat, many unaccompanied. Like that stuff that's used in like films, like evil cartoons or Dickens. All the children have been taken away to Donkey Island and they're turning into monsters. What is that, Pinocchio? No, that's Australia. More than 700 are locked up, many in camps on remote Pacific islands. We uh, talked about this before. We, like, the people of Manus Island, the detainees, got together and wrote us this letter. It made me feel good about myself for a while. This woman, Kitty Thatcher, responded with a video that gave us further information on this global phenomena of detainees. I mean, an interesting fact that I didn't know is that there are more people now that have been displaced than any point in history. More displaced people now in the world than any time since the Second World War. 51 million people. That's a whole Great Britain of people just wandering around. And it seems odd that the response to that in Australia and countries like Britain is to lock them up. A Human Rights Commission inquiry is hearing evidence that children in camps are poisoning themselves. So firstly vilify them, then hide them, then ignore them and then none of us engage with our basic human impulse about like if that was happening in my actual house like a child was being abused and was being poisoned i would think like that well i've got to deal with this but, but the only difference is distance isn't it yeah but that's happening miles away and even that the government's covering up the extent of child mental health issues. Luckily, at least none of the children are being sexually abused. The report addresses allegations of sexual assault against the detained children. Campaigners say no children should be kept behind bars. Oh, I don't know, we don't, this isn't a time for broad generalizations, like no children should be kept behind bars. No, it is. Yeah, let's have a broad generalization on the children behind bars issues. Yeah, but what about bad children? What about rat children? What about children that can fire rockets out of their house. Now, we're just going to not put children in prison as a general thing. It also found that the then Immigration Minister, Scott Morrison, failed in his responsibility as guardian of unaccompanied children. Who's your guardian? Who is it? Bloke that don't really give a shit. Oh. Do you feel any guilt or any uh, any guilt at all about the none. way children have been dealt with in detention? None whatsoever, Neil. Neil, I feel none. But some of the children, I mean, I've got a letter here from one of the children. Neil! But there are, there are ten year olds on suicide uh, watch. Neil. Your mum's in the corridor crying. Do you feel any guilt? None. None whatsoever. She said it's your fault. You forgot her birthday. I don't care about birthdays. It's a, the kindest thing I can do is let my mother wither and die by those bins. The most compassionate thing you can do is stop the boats. Did you feel any sadness when you watched the film Bambi? None. None whatsoever, Neil. Well, what about a bit where Bambi's mother... Neil! None. Bambi's mother shouldn't have been wandering about in the woods. <laughs> and the Human Rights Commission ought to be ashamed of itself. Oh, those people pursuing the human rights. Everyone should be ashamed of themselves. It's surely Tony Abbott blatantly saying on the telly that he feels no guilt about children being sexually abused in a concentration camp. All you have to add is a bit of time for that to be one of the worst things that's ever happened in history. Except it's happening now. That's even worse than it happening in history because we can still do something about it. The best way to ensure, the only way to ensure that we have no children in immigration detention is not to have any boats. There's other ways as well, Tony. That's to pull back your perspective, recognise that this is one planet, and instead of having a blind allegiance to corporations and creating tax loopholes for them, have instead an allegiance to children that are in prison. I feel no guilt. I reckon that the Human Rights Commission ought to be sending a note of congratulations to Scott Morrison, saying, well done, mate. Dear Scott, well done, mate. Because your actions have been very good for the human rights and the human flourishing of thousands of people. Actually, we've read this back and it seems kind of sarcastic. You vicious bastard. Hi Russell, my name is Kitty Thatcher. 
I'm making this video in response to your video on the trues, which describes Australia's treatment of asylum seekers that arrive by boat. So here, Kitty Thatcher, who made an excellent video in response to the trues, has outlined how companies like Serco and G4S that run these detention centres operate in our country as well. It's not just about Australia. Serco already runs many of your private prisons and youth detention facilities. G4S, that had the contract on Manus Island when Rosie Barati was killed, is in charge of housing refugees in England. Home Office statistics reveal that the number of children being held in our country, Britain, increased by 80% from 2011 to 2013. Nick Clegg, God love him, stated, we are trying to end the shameful practice that last year alone saw over a thousand innocent children in prison. But actually it's gone up. There are 661 kids under 18 currently in detention in Britain. Now, hopefully no one profits from this practice. Oh no, someone profits from this practice. It's Serco and G4S. Serco have got a contract worth around $1.8 billion in Australia. Serco and G4S operate in our country as well. Now all these allegations of abuse and mental health issues in detention centres <laughs> would surely be the obligation and uh, responsibility of Serco and G4S, but they're both having their contracts renewed by governments in spite of continuing problems with mental health and self-harming and suicide in their facilities. The UK government wouldn't let a UN investigator into Serco's Yarwood detention centre because there are allegations of staff abuse. So I started a Facebook group. As it turns out, Australians and their friends in New York weren't the only ones protesting outside of Australia. We are now active in 16 cities across four continents. We are Australians and allies overseas against mandatory detention. Kitty Thatcher there in the video talks about belonging to groups that oppose these practices. Here's some more that you can join and support. There's Citizens UK, there's End Child Detention Now, there's the Australian Coalition to End Immigration Detention of Children, there's Australians Overseas Against Mandatory Detention, loads of groups there. Like, how does it keep happening? How do the idea that Serco and G4S should be running these detention centres, which in my mind shouldn't even bloody exist, that we should be compassionate and open to the people of the world and controlling the, the resources of the power using their resources to extend compassion to the people of the world. I know it's not a popular idea, but how do these ideas that benefit Serco and G4S make it into the political arena? Because there's a group called Reform, funded by them, which is a right-wing think tank that lobbies for the privatisation of hospitals and prison utilities and was set up by Conservative MP Andrew Haldenby and Conservative Party member Nick Herbert. So what does the, that mean to us? It means that in countries like Australia and Britain and America, tax money is being used to pay billions of pounds to, for private companies to lock up adults and children and then not care for them properly while great big corporations maraud around the world registering in tax havens. They are the true refugees of the world. They're the true people that are going around seeking refuge, taking money and exploiting. These corporations, aided and abetted by governments and media, exploit us all. And at the end of it, at the fag end of it, at the fag ash end of it, human beings and children in prison. How can we allow this practice to continue. We can't. We need to come together to oppose it. That is some true news. Subscribe here. Nose is a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Trues is like the news. If the news was true, I want some trues. Let's have some trues.